Hi guys, welcome to Auto Layout Part 1 of our Auto Layout series. In this series, we will explore Auto Layout step by step from basic Auto Layout to advanced Auto Layout. In each episode, we will take a UI problem and we will try solving it using Auto Layout. In this series, we will also cover size classes, animations with Auto Layout and more deeper concepts of Auto Layout. One more thing, now besides watching our videos, you can also read our content just by browsing confusedlabs.com. So you can see multiple posts here, but right now we are, we are interested in auto layout part 1. Okay. So let's get started with auto layout part 1. So in this part 1, we will learn three different ways to implement some very basic constraints to a view. Okay, so let's first go through the definition of auto layout. What is auto layout? Auto layout dynamically calculates the size and position of all the views in your view hierarchy based on the constraints that you placed on those views. Okay, so first question that should arise in your mind is why we need auto layout at first place. Okay, so let me show you why we need auto layout at first place. Okay, so first we have to create an Xcode project. Okay, so let's do it. create a project single view application name your project auto layout part 1 create next click next then create so now our project is created let's go to main storyboard file This is our storyboard file and this is our view controller with width any and height any size class. Okay. We'll talk about size classes later in our auto layout series. For now, let's go back to our content and follow the steps. So as you can see, these are the steps to create a project and we have implemented these steps. So let's move forward. Okay. So now it says let's drag and drop a UI view to the center position of our view controller and change its background color from its attribute inspector. Okay, so as the red line says, search UI view in your object library and drag and drop it to your view controller. Okay, so you can also see the reference pic below. Uh, this pic shows you where is the object library and how you can search UI view in your object library and drag and drop it to your view controller. Still, if you have confusion uh, in the reference pic, the red text all over the content is clickable. Okay, Re uh, clicking on this red text show you the practical implementation of the statement so this is the object library you can search UI view and drag and drop it to your view controller okay so let me tell you again the red text all over the content is clickable okay so let's perform this task in our project okay this is our object library we'll search UI view here and drag and drop that UI view to the center position of our view controller and let's change this color So as we have placed red view at the center of our screen, we wish to see this red view at the center position in different iPhone iPad screen sizes. Okay, so let's check it out using preview. Click on assistant editor, then click on editor options, then choose preview and click on main dot storyboard. Okay, so this is how our view will look on iPhone with 4 inch screen sizes. Okay, so you can see the red view is not at the center position in iPhone with 4 inch screen sizes. You can also check out your design on different screen sizes. Just click here at the plus icon and choose whatever screen size you want to choose. Okay, so this is how our view will look on iPhone with 5.5 inch screen size. Still, our red view is not at center position. Okay, so basically, the moral of the story is we have placed our red view at the center of our view controller, but on different screen sizes, its position varies. So this is the reason why we need auto layout at first place. By using auto layout, we can fix our red views position on different screen sizes. So in this part one, we will learn some very basic, four very basic constraints of auto layout. Okay, and those are top space, bottom space, leading space, and trailing space. So let's start by applying constraint to our red, uh, red view. So first let's make it a bit bigger. 
So we will start by placing top space constraint to our red view. As the name says, top space constraint tells you where the top of your view will be placed. So let's start applying top space constraint. First select your, select your red view, then hold control, then drag the cursor and drop it outside the red view and choose vertical spacing to top layout guide. So what is top layout guide now? Top layout guide may include status bar or navigation bar and your view controller's view starts below the top layout guide. Okay. Similarly for bottom, we have bottom layout guide and bottom layout guide may include toolbar or tab bar and your view controller's view ends where the bottom layout guide starts. Okay. As we have applied our first constraint to our red view, let's check it out through size inspector. Okay. So click on size inspector, scroll down a bit. There you can see the first constraint that you applied. You can double click it to edit it and to check the more details about the constraint. So here you can see view.top. It means the top of your view will be 8 points away from the bottom of the top layout guide. Okay. So it tells you in every screen size the top of your view will be 8 points away from the bottom of your top layout guide. Okay. So let me show you what a constraint actually means. So constraint is nothing but just a linear equation. Here is an example which tells you top of your red view is 10 points away from the bottom of your top layout guide. Here you can see one more thing that is multiplier. We will talk about multiplier later in our auto layout series. Okay, so remember constraint should be placed to a view in such a way that series of equation of constraint should have one and only one solution. If it will be having more than one solution, then it may generate auto layout warning. Okay. Usually you have to apply four constraints to each view to satisfy its constraints. Two for horizontal dimensions and two for vertical dimensions. So let's get back to our project. So here's our project. If we will open our document and outline, then we can see a red auto layout warning here. Okay. As I told you, Usually you have to place four constraints to each view to satisfy its constraints. And so far we have placed only single constraint to our red view. So this is the reason why we are getting this red auto layout warning. Okay. So let's provide the other three constraints to our red view. As we have already applied top space constraint to our red view. Now we will apply bottom space constraint to our red view. In the same way hold control and select your red view drag and drop the cursor out of the red view downwards vertically downwards and choose the option vertical spacing to top bottom layout guide so this constraint will ensure a distance of 29 points between the bottom of your view and the top of your bottom layout guide okay so this will ensure that the bottom of your red view will always be 29 points above uh, your uh, the top of your bottom layout guide okay so now let's apply the leading space constraint leading space con uh, constraint gives you the uh, space from the left uh, left hand side of your view so again uh, hold control drag and drop the cursor outside the red view towards left side and choose the option leading space so leading space tell you that the uh, leading edge of of your view will always be 16 points away from your super views margin okay so now let's provide last constraint that is our trailing constraint. So now choose trailing space to container margin. Okay. So we have provided all four all required four constraints to our red view. Let's see if the red auto layout warning is gone or not. Yes, it's gone. If you want to see the applied constraint, you can select the red view and go to the size inspector and scroll down. And now you can see all the constraint applied to our red view. Okay, you can even change the value. Suppose if you want to change the trailing space, you can make it 10. Suppose you want to change leading space, click on edit and change it, uh, change its value and press enter. And you can see the uh, change even on your view controller screen. So let's see the preview. Automatic preview, main dot storyboard. So earlier, uh, the uh, on different screen sizes, the position of our red view is varying. And now uh, we have fixed position, fixed the position of our red view on different screen sizes. We can also even check out iPad. So here it is, iPro.
let's zoom out a bit so in every screen size uh, it, the position of our red view is fixed from top left right and bottom okay now let me show you the use of update frames and clear constraints okay so suppose I select my red view and drag and drop it to another location now you can see the yellow warning everywhere okay if you will go to document and try you can see the yellow warning here too okay so what's the reason the reason is according to auto layout this is not a uh, where your where your red, red view should be placed according to the uh, auto layout it says the top of your view should be eight points below the bottom of your top layout guide but it's not there right now so uh, in such case in uh, what you have to do is you just have to update frames it will move back uh, the red view to its original position okay so uh, updating uh, uh, choosing update frames from the upper section means you just want to update frame of the particular selected view and if you choose on the upper frame update frames from the uh, low section it will update the frames of all the views in your viewer hierarchy according to the auto layout okay so uh, right now we ha have uh, we are having only single view so we can choose either of them okay so it refix the position of your added view according to the auto layout okay so there's one more option here that is clear constraint so if you click on clear constant it will clear all the constant that you have applied to this particular view and uh, if you click uh, clear constant constraints option uh, from the lower section then it will clear constant of all the views in your view hierarchy okay so be careful with it okay so one of the way of applying constraint is through view controller as we did with red view okay but we can apply the same four constraint through document outline too so let me show you how we can apply uh, these constraints through document outline let's take another uh, UI view and drag and drop it to your view controller so let's change its background color okay so if we will see the preview now what we can notice is as the constraints are applied to our red view it's fixed to its position still okay on different screen sizes but our yellow view uh, its size and position varies with uh, different screen sizes so we definitely don't want this so what we need to do is we need to apply constant to our yellow view okay what we'll do is uh, we'll apply a uh, top space bottom space uh, leading and trailing space to our yellow view with respect to our uh, red view okay and we will apply constant to yellow view through document outline so let's open the document outline so this is our uh, yellow view so to avoid confusion we can also change the name of these views through document outline uh, just uh, hit enter and uh, write whatever name you want to write then again press enter so we name the red view uh, red view and we can name our yellow view yellow view okay so what we want to uh, what i uh, we what i want to do is i can uh, i want to fix the top uh, bottom and leading space leading and trailing space of the yellow view with respect to my red view okay so what i can do is hold control and drag and drop cursor from yellow view to red view and uh, uh, i can choose leading trailing top and bottom space at once just by pressing shift okay just by holding shift we, uh, i can select multiple constant at, uh, at single time okay now i can choose add constants so now if I'll go to preview and see the preview the position of my yellow view is also fixed on different screen sizes okay so so far we have learned two ways of implementing constant one through view controller and the other one through document outline there's one more uh, easier way to implement uh, to apply constant to a view uh, and it's through pin okay pin option let me show you okay let's again uh, drag and drop an UI view let's change its background color let's make it green okay so again if we will watch preview then uh, our green view will be having some indefinite layout on, dif uh, on different screen sizes okay so again we need to apply constant to our green view 
so we will provide same uh, four basic constraint to our green view as we provided to uh, our yellow and red view okay uh, but this time uh, our constraint will be placed with respect to yellow view because the green view lies inside yellow view okay we can also place its constraint with respect to red view or uh, view uh, view controllers view but uh, it's our it's your personal choice okay so we will use pin option to uh, set constants of our uh, green view okay so here's the pin option at the bottom right of your storyboard okay so just click it uh, here you can see the multiple options right now we are uh, interested in the upper part only okay because we are learning the four basic constant uh, in this uh, auto layout part one okay so this is for the top space this is for the leading space this is for trailing and this is for bottom space okay this shows that uh, your uh, the top of your uh, green view is 20 will be 28 points below your yellow view okay so if we check it and we uh, will we click on add one constant it will add the top space constraint to your green view okay as you can see okay so it again uh, shows you the red uh, outer layout pointing why because we have just provided the single constraint to uh, our green view uh, and the single constant value is not enough uh, for our auto layout to calculate the position of this green view on our screen so let's provide uh, it other three constant okay so again uh, select your green view go to the pin option and select other three constant leading constraint trailing constraint and bottom space constraint so we have supplied all four constraint to our green view but this time through, through pin option so let's see the preview so now all three views are fixed okay so this was the objective of part one to learn three different ways of applying some basic constant okay so if you have learned something from this video like this video share this video subscribe our channel and don't forget now you can even read our content from confidencelabs.com okay so bye bye for now see you in the next episode